obvious that this Deputy Price was involved in that. Probably the sheriff, too. Oh, Lord. Oh, this whole mess is in my lap now. If I don't charge these bastards, then King yells and I'm letting them get away with murder. But if I do charge them, then all the Southerners scream about how I'm taking orders from the Negras and all this two weeks before the start of the goddamn convention. Mr. President, I'm sorry to have to tell you, but the word is Governor Wallace has offered himself to Goldwater as the Republican vice presidential candidate. That little weasel would sell his mother to get a leg up. And Strom Thurmond is formally switching parties. That motherfucker! Is anybody going to follow him? Well, I don't know. We'll find out. You bet I will. God damn it. You see her on TV? Who? Oh, the, the dead kid's wife, Schwerner. Oh, uh, Rita. Rita. Wife. Widow, I mean. Christ. Terrible. Mr. President, we have word. Uh, I don't know. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, I sit down. All right, Robert. Captain Herrick of the USS Maddox reports a potential sighting last night of two possibly hostile unidentified vessels in the Gulf of Tonkin and some somewhat contradictory sonar evidence of actual torpedo attack. Well, a, a potential sighting? What, what the hell's a potential sighting? A visual sighting not confirmed by mechanical means. And this torpedo attack, this actually happened? Still awaiting confirmation. Well, were any of our ships hit? No, sir. Were there any explosions? No, sir. Then how the hell do we know we were attacked? We don't, for sure. We have contradictory sonar readings. For God's sakes, Robert. Give me something I can work with here. Officially, this is a very delicate subject. Oh, Humphrey can know. Mr. President, the limited airstrikes you ordered pre-selected in case of another attack are good to go. Airstrikes? So we order them in. Surely this is a situation about which we ought to be more confident before we act. There's no sense in pretending last night's event didn't happen. Not anymore. What do you mean? There's been a leak somewhere. Who? Who leaked it? We're tracking it down. I want his fucking head in the basket. The point is... The press has got to it somehow. God damn it. Now, there are domestic considerations as well. Eh, hey, Goldwater. Don't retaliate. We will play all the angles against you. Oh, this soft on military bullshit. Christ, the Democrats beat Hitler and told you what more do we have to do? You want me to call in the retaliatory strikes? Or an attack which may or may not have happened? Planes are ready to go on your command. Mr. President, this puts you in a terrible position. You are essentially Mr. Going President, to, have to lie. Do it. Yes, sir. If it gets out, we'll pass it off on our South Vietnamese allies. Mr. President, what, you think I like this? Putting my ass in a sling this close to the election? Sir. Or maybe you think Goldwater ought to be president, is that it? I never said that. That maniac wants to lob an A-bomb into the Kremlin's bathroom and start World War III. You see how you like that? Mr. President, come on. If Goldwater gets elected, you can forget about poverty. You can forget about civil rights. Is that what you want? Now, I'm trying to turn this country around and prevent a major war. Christ, I know. Hell did I ever consider you for my vice president? First sign of trouble, you cut and run. I'm not running anywhere, Mr. President. I'm standing right here beside you. Precious cold comfort you are. You know, Congress is going to back me on this. It's election year. I'll get them to pass some kind of Resolution authorized me full authority over there. And then we can get back to the things that really matter. Sir? Hi. They found Cheney's body. <laughs>